We're about to head out to the highest peak in all of Vancouver. I guess it's always a nice spot to see the city. And during this time of day, you get a treat because you see the sunset. Or as they call it during this time of the year, the peak of Christmas. Hey, we're Nat, Max, and Baby Skylar, a little family from Vancouver that loves traveling. And in this episode, We'll be traveling over 4,000 feet above Vancouver to give this baby her first experience with snow Hi. and meet a very special someone in a red suit. Oh. 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 Wow, such a nice workshop, Santa! Oh. Oh. How are you? Oh. Oh. Who's this little? We start off our adventure at the base of Grouse Mountain. This is also the first time that we're parking a little bit further from the Grouse Gondola. I think today is a little bit different from the last times we've been here because it's not yet the start of the ski season so it's a little bit calmer today. And normally these three spots is already occupied by the time we get here. The downside though is it's a bit of an inclined hike just to go to the gondola. <laughs> uh, here we are. Feels so good. So usually we would book our tickets online, but today is a little bit of an exception just because Grouse Mountain isn't really the original plan that we're gonna do today. We were supposed to go to Mount Seymour and meet Santa there, but we got the call this morning saying that they have a power outage in the mountain today and they can't accommodate us. So we just made the executive decision to go from one mountain to the other. And especially this baby is looking for the big guy in the red suit lately. And we heard he's around here somewhere. But even though it's a last minute ticket, I think we got a pretty good deal today. Because of the family rate, right? Yeah, so they have a promo going on from December 1 to December 8. So for two adults and two children, you only have to pay for $89. Thank you. I am very surprised because usually this place is really packed. Skylar, you get the window view. Huh? <laughs> is this Skylar's first gondola? Yes. Wow. It's a big gondola. Huh? <laughs> guide for our six minutes journey on the mountain job. But we reached an elevation of 1,100 meters or 3,700 feet above the city of Vancouver. Yeah, it looks like uh, the other tram is moving really in the past, but they are being attached on the same cable and we are running on the same speed. Welcome to Grouse Mountain. On my left is the Peak Chalet. Inside you will find the theater in the sky. Grouse Crying Coffee Bird, Lupin's Cafe. Skyler, welcome to the North Pole! Like it, huh? <laughs> so many snow! Yeah. Oh, wait! <laughs> so this marks Skylar's first winter and I think she's loving it. It's very very super special to us because Skylar's first time here in the mountain, first time experiencing snow as well. So I think when she was little, just newly born, she also experienced snow. <laughs> Are you waving at the camera? She also experienced snow but she was a little too tiny and a little too young back then. I feel like this year she's gonna enjoy it a lot more. This past few days, Skylar's have been watching Frozen, which is, I think, one of her favorite movies right now. And Olaf being one of her favorite characters in the movie. Uh, do you wanna build a snowman? Do you wanna build a snowman? Yes! So the weather right now is negative two. And we also made sure that we are bundled up. Skylar is wearing three layers right now and I think 
she's nice and warm. But still, that's kind of like an ideal temperature to be out in the snow, right? Yeah, so you will notice that the snow is nice and fluffy. There's lots of fun festivities here for the whole family, and I think Skylar's enjoying them. This one in particular, I think we've seen this before, but it's always so nice to see them again. Well, the oldest one was 21 years old, that they know of. Um, but that was a, you know, that was the exception rather than the rule. Usually they live about 13, 17 years. So these are Santa's reindeers hanging around with some of the kids. I feel like Skylar would enjoy it if we come a little closer. Over there Spin. Spin. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Skylar, you're gonna cause an avalanche. <laughs> Skylar, this is snow. This is called snow. Snow. First time touching snow, Sky. It's cold, huh? Mm. <laughs> it's snow and you can eat it. Why is it wet? Why is it cold? Daddy, I can't pull my fingers. <laughs> it's frozen. It's, frozen. <laughs> it's cold, Daddy. Ah, it's ice. Huh? Wow. Sheep ice. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna remember this day for the rest of our lives. This is the first time Skylar is officially touching snow. This is snow! You want some? You want some snow? Snow! Ah. It's cool! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, no. Did you try to eat it? You cannot eat snow. <laughs> uh, mom! I'm pretty sure you can eat snow. Right, Sky? Here's a heart shaped snow for Sky. You like the heart shaped snow? I know we've been here before, but it always feels so magical coming back here in Grouse Mountain and especially seeing snow for the first time this year. And that's one of the reasons why we love living here in Vancouver is because the mountains are super close to the city so you can go to the mountains anytime that you like. And I always remember Vancouverites always saying that you can only find a few places here in the world that you can go to the mountain and to the beach at the same day. So that's pretty epic. Taylor, if you see this in the future, just know that I had to do it. Huh? I always wanted to do this. Okay. Ready. Oh! <laughs> I, I think I got karma. <laughs> the face. The clueless face. I'm about to throw you into the snow. Huh? One, two, <laughs> one. That's, that's you. See? Yeah. <laughs> it is cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. So we've taken some shelter here at the lodge to take a little bit of a break from the cold. And I think Skylar deserves a milk break after playing with all of the snow. There's the baby. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? There's the baby. <laughs> That's one new thing that she does now, hey? Yeah, she loves playing this hide and seek and she thinks that she becomes invisible when she can cover her face. Yeah. Skylar, peekaboo. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where is Skylar? There is Skylar! 
Where's the Skylar? Where is Skylar? There's the baby! <laughs> The past few weeks with this little Timbit have been filled with surprises. She's not only mastered peekaboo, but also stunned us one night by achieving a big milestone. I feel like this is just one of the major milestones that Skylar has has had. So good, huh? You're up so fast. Hey, hey, I'm huh? So proud of you, Sky. So good. It's a good thing that the lodge here is pretty big, and there's lots of things that you can enjoy inside. There's exhibits, you can buy food, there's a theater inside, and especially at this time of the year, which is very festive. They have lots of activities and events going on. Wow! Are you going to be a snowboarder or a skier? What? I saw your cheeks. It's inside the goggles. Mommy! Looks nice on me. Skylar! Is that Olaf? <laughs> Olaf might be sick. What happened to Olaf? Uh, what happened to Olaf? Is that Olaf? Say hi Olaf! Doesn't look like Olaf. Babu! 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 Ha! Where's the baby? Where's me? Yeah! Hey Kaboo! I can see you! Where's the baby? Let's get this snow for Skylar. So the sun has started to come down here in Vancouver and we're just soaking in all of the sunset, all of the beautiful sceneries up here. I feel like whenever we come here to Grouse Mountain, it's always a nice, it's a nice day, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we've been fortunate enough to like always pick our days going up to the mountains and it's always clear and sunny mm -hmm. and today is one of those days. And we've come here in Grass Mountain quite a few times now and it's really special because right now we're here with Skylar and she's enjoying all the snow, all of the views and now soaking in the sunset. She's so pretty. <laughs> she's so close to falling asleep. <laughs> Skylar, you can't fall asleep yet. We have someone we wanted you to meet. Huh? Hola. <laughs> I feel like this is the same spot also that we've come to the last time we were here because it's always a nice spot to see the city. I feel like this is one of the things that I miss when we were still exploring British Columbia as a couple because you know, you guys know, if you guys have been watching us for a while now, we've been uh, doing camping, exploring all of the trails here in British Columbia. I kind of feel like this is one of my favorite moments where it's super serene, you can't hear anything. You could just hear your voice. It kind of takes you away from the city living for a little bit and enjoy the nature. And we hope that Skylar will join us soon in those kinds of explorations. Right Sky? Do you want to see nature? I think she's frozen. Skylar's frozen. <laughs> we need to find shelter. Thank you. Hello! Yeah. in there? Oh, oh no, it's right here! Oh my god, no That point. was Santa, Skylar. Hi there. Hi there. Ooh. Wow, it's such a nice workshop, Santa. Hi, How are you? Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. Who's this? Hi, Santa. 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 Hi, Santa
this little critter? Seeing Skylar's eyes widen, upon entering the workshop filled their hearts with joy. But as soon as Santa came into the view, the overwhelming cuteness led to a song of adorable tears. I'll wear my uh, maybe if you hold her, <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Thank you for coming to see me. Thank you. Oh. Oh, really sorry. You're, you're gonna like Santa eventually. <laughs> Despite a few tears, we absolutely love meeting Santa in his merry workshop. Santa, thank you for giving us memories we'll treasure forever.